bei Nada. <lacht> Trash. Hello everyone. Your girl is back with the video. Wee, wee, wee. How are you? I'm doing fabulous because I have this little broccoli. <lacht> oh my god, it actually looks like me. <lacht> Guys, today we will try something on together again. I'm very excited about this one because it's hopefully gonna be good and it's gonna fulfill my inner wedding fan. If people ask me if I wanna get married, I usually always say no because I kinda don't get it. I mean, I get like the whole shablam of getting dressed up and makeup and hair and just looking the most beautiful that you want to look like maybe i'll just marry myself one day or i'm like mary vincent and then my name is vince uh, naomi vincent <laughs> that's how it works <laughs> and your name is naomi <laughs> I ordered wedding dresses on Pinterest because actually there are some quite affordable wedding dresses on Pinterest. Of course, they still cost a couple of hundred euros, but if we move in the wedding dress realm, we definitely usually pay a couple of thousands for wedding dresses. Well, I'm not saying everybody has to buy a wedding dress for $5,000, but it's just often the case that wedding dresses are very expensive. That's why I wanted to see if the cheap wedding dresses on Pinterest could still be any good and like maybe actually work out and you don't actually need a very expensive wedding dress. But before I get to trying on my wedding dresses, I actually have a very important message, a very important surprise that I want to show you. <laughs> it's lashes. Oh, that's so underwhelming the way I just said that. I have been working on an eyeliner for a very, very long time. And now she is getting serious because I actually made an eyeliner and I actually made not just one, I made two, which is even worse. I mean, it's good, but it's like pressure. A black one and a blue one. It's felt tip liners, the ones that I like the most. And I have been perfecting this eyeliner for such a long time. I personally love it. I haven't been using a different kind of eyeliner since, well, since I got the first sample that I was satisfied with. It's been a long time since then. <laughs> Should Melody Lashes now change their name to Melody Lashes and Liner? I think I have to write them a message now because shit ain't making sense no more. I'm also launching three new pairs of lashes. 2 a.m. Pickles and... <coughs> Trash. Each lash costs 13.99 euros and both liners each cost 12.99 euros. Wow, tend to swatch. Oh, your dick is still on. That sounds a bit weird out of context. <laughs> I trust you and your swatching. A V for Vincent. A line and this is another <laughs> line. Look, you can do so many lines. Wow, you can even do a straight line, but I hate straight. <laughs> I can't see. Now we also need some sort of squiggly lines because we need that. And now we want a cake. This goes out to whoever's birthday it is today. Happy <laughs> birthday. Wow. Blue, this is so... Yeah, but the thing is, this is waterproof. Wow, so pretty. That's a drag liner. By the way, if you're wondering, of course, I'm also wearing my lashes right now and my liner, obviously. But as for lashes, I'm wearing trash. Trash is like the perfect lash for if you want to go super full intense or half intense because I personally love to cut trash in half. If I want that little like cat eye, a little bit like this and not like a super intense full on lash. I am absolutely obsessed with the half lash look with the trash ones. I've never had any lashes that are better than trash. And then we have 2AM. If you don't know where that name comes from, maybe you should listen to On Her Own again. But this is definitely also an intense lash. Maybe a little less intense as trash. And then last but not least, we have pickles. I would like to call these um, the big sister of Vincent because they're definitely more on the natural side, but still not supernatural. They're still like visible. You can still see there's something going on on your eye. 
Oops, this is all available now. You can get it internationally on MalibyLashes.com, on the M, on Zalando, on Flaconi, and at the M in store and the M Austria. I am absolutely excited about these liners and I'm excited that I can finally say that I have my own liners. And now let's get into some wedding dresses. Let's look at the first dress that I ordered. The Mermaid Unique Romantic Vintage Ivory Beach Wedding Dress for $300. Not much for a wedding dress, still a lot of money, but not much for a wedding dress, but still a lot of money, but not much for a wedding dress, but still a lot of money, but not much for a wedding dress. Every shop that I ordered at, I just ordered an S. After I ordered at the shop, I usually got a mail where they asked me for my measurements. So did they make it according to my measurements now? Why did they text me? I don't know. Let's see if I got that for free. The shop is called Bridal Suit. I did pay $70 shipping though, but I also chose rush order. Let's look at my Wow. Now I'm ready to get married. Wow, it's so long. Let's ignore the fact that the dress itself is really ugly. The veil is really pretty, actually. The veil actually looks quite like on the picture. The dress doesn't. Maybe I just gotta cover up the dress with the veil. It just needs steaming. <laughs> if you look at the picture, it definitely is a little bit different. Like this part, it isn't even see-through, it's just white. It doesn't even try to give a nude illusion. The fit is uh, not really fitting, even though they asked for my measurements, so I guess they just do that for fun. I actually need a veil like this for my wedding day, because this is giving extraness, and that's what I like. <laughs> I've been waiting for so long. <laughs> I just think the dress itself is ferocious. I think you can make it work, honestly. You just have to fit it a little bit more and actually steam it. This is who I'm gonna get married with. Your bouquet. No, it's not my wedding bouquet, it's my husband. Sometimes people get it mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> The next one we're gonna look at, I actually have maybe a little more hope because it looks a little less complicated, a bit more basic, I would say. But also looks like somebody stole these pictures from somebody's wedding. This is a celebrity or something. I don't think this is the actual dress. But I ordered this on If Dress for $229. So it was definitely cheaper than this one. I also gave them my measurements. They also always ask what kind of heels I'm gonna be wearing for my big day and i always told them oh they're not that high it's fine you don't have to add that much <laughs> wow. hear me out i think it's cute we have a little slit down here for the angelina jolie leg it's not giving super much wedding dress more like white dress We have to say again, it doesn't look 100% like the picture. Like it definitely should be way tighter on the waist. Like snatch the fuck out of it. I'm missing a little bit of the snatchy snatchiness um, that was going on the picture. Um, I'm still pretty sure they stole those pictures and kind of just made this knockoff. <laughs> Actually looking at it from afar, it's kind of a weird cut here. It makes my body look short. Maybe I need my high heels. But I have to say this would definitely be a bit too basic for me personally for my wedding. But then again, I think I would also probably wear a pink dress for my wedding. Yeah, you will definitely not get what is on the picture, but I think you could actually make it look like on the picture. If you maybe get this to a seamstress and they would make it a bit tighter, I think that and this could actually have potential. But I really want something to blow me away. That's why I need to try this one specific dress as my next one. Hello, <laughs> I'm glad you came to my casual wedding. We're all just gonna be on our laptops and just texting each other on ICQ. 
No, it's not my bouquet, it's my husband. This next one, I actually ordered on Etsy. This looks absolutely crazy, like in a fairy tale. Like, if I had this exact dress on this picture, I would wear this to my wedding. There might be the possibility that it's not gonna look exactly like on the pictures. It's just something I suspect. I already like had a look in the packaging and the only thing I saw was glitter, so I don't wanna like give Vincent nightmares, so I think I will actually try this on in my shower. Sorry, I'm just getting ready for my wedding. And this is my shower dress. I always wear this when I shower because it's just very showerable. showerable. What does it look like? Good? I think it feels pretty on me. It's a pretty princess dress. Yeah, right off the bat, I have to say though that it definitely doesn't look like the picture. On the picture, there was so many pearls up here and it was even more glittery. But I think it still looks good. Like it's still fulfilling some kind of fantasy in my head right now. Oh, by the way, there's also a bow. <laughs> Is it not bowing? You have to iron this. Maybe turn the lights off. I think it looks good, right? Oh, stop it! Look at the floor! Look at it! Imagine I would have put this in, on in the living room. Can you show me? Do you got games on your phone? So Vincent just showed me the footage. I really like it. It's 100% not like in the picture. Like this was even like way bigger. But still, I think this is worth the money because it's giving me my fantasy. I like the fit. It looks good on me. I think it's like a little crumpled up here maybe. But Vincent also didn't like completely tie the corset. I think I would actually have a wedding like this. I think this is actually gonna be my wedding fantasy. I mean, I love glitter, I love rhinestones, you know me. I love when it looks like straight out of a Disney movie or an anime princess and it's just my weakness. Mm -hmm. I bet this glitter is not biodegradable. Thanks, bye guys. Shit, you can see that I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> How exposing! Okay, the next one we're gonna try is actually maybe even the most expensive out of all of them. This one costs $399. It looks a little bit on the basic side, but also could be like a very classic wedding, classic beauty, classic something. Let's look at it. Ready to know what the f What's the fire? What is it? What's the word? Bird? When is it my turn? Where did I learn? Learn to explore. I don't know if that helps. Vincent, you have to open the veil. Am I your father? You're my daddy. Oh. <laughs> I think it's okay. It's definitely um, the one that fits me the best. I also like that we have this here because it gives you the illusion of like hips. There's also a bow at the back, which is definitely a prettier bow than the glitter dress had. The only thing I don't like is the cups. We have these super metal intense cups again. Punch me as hard as you can and I wouldn't feel it. Your dress is too short. Oh, you're right. I mean, you can shorten a dress, but you can't really elongate a dress, right? I think that's a bit more effort. Is that? You can see my feet peeking through. The train is really long. Wow, wow, wowzers. Oh, by the way, it also came with gloves. <laughs> uh, mm. Mm. <laughs> It's still $400, but I also think it is definitely a little bit better than the ones that I've tried so far, except the fairy dress. I don't think anything could reach the fairy dress. 
my jesus speak now or you may forever hold your peace i think you could get married in this even with the gloves still not sure about the titty armor but some people might like it if they want their titties to be extra protected i wanna fly away yeah yeah oh copyright do you like it no why not because you're ugly and i would rather marry a cauliflower if you want to wear this dress, you just have to be smaller than I am. So you have to be smaller than 162. I think we're good with this dress, right? Right. I don't know if I will be able to actually find my perfect wedding dress today. But we have one more chance. I found this puff sleeve sweetheart flower tall boho gown. This is gonna be totally my style. If it's not 100% like in the picture, I just feel like it, it's gonna be a total disaster. But <laughs> we all know that it's gonna be exactly like the picture. So I don't think we have anything to worry about. Boho. Is that still a thing? Boho. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you laugh again! I'm so good at that. Here's my bohemian dress, everyone. Oh, and my husband Ew. left. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. It is the prettiest one, right? I'm sorry, I just can't get past the fairy dress for me personally. I don't know shit about bohemian. How do you define that? Actually, the glitter looks kind of pretty on our dark floor. I think they were all kind of in the same. Oh, no. It's dry. Can I look like this? Oh, he was so naked for a second. Yeah, that was. Ah! I still love the glitter one the best, but I don't think I would actually buy my wedding dress on Pinterest. Oh, it is my evolved flower dress. It's been so long. I'm a flower queen. I wouldn't order wedding dresses on Pinterest again unless you're really on a budget. Then you should really choose the best dress out of this video, whatever you like the best. Uh, oh, you're welcome. As you guys know, I won't get married anytime soon so maybe one of you actually wants to have one of these wedding dresses comment down below if you want one of these dresses maybe you're gonna get married soon maybe you just want it for cosplay maybe you just want it for fun i just want to give these away because i have no use for them so comment down below which dress you want and your instagram name so i can contact you if i'm gonna send it to you maybe you could also wear these on your wedding day <laughs> I think I'm gonna go now. Time for some dinner. Time for some wedding buffet. Buffet. <laughs> buffet. Uh, I'm gonna be on tour next week. I've already been on tour last week, my first ever concert. I still can't believe it happened. Hello, everyone! Next week, I'm coming for Hamburg, Cologne, and Munich. Hope you're gonna be there. Oh yeah, don't worry guys, I'm filming everything during this tour. Or Vincent is filming everything backstage. All the emotions, it's been a lot of emotions. It's just been the craziest thing I've ever done. I'm vlogging everything, I'm trying to take you everywhere and there will be a tour vlog very soon. I'm so emotional today, I think it's because it's my wedding day. <laughs> don't forget to follow me on all of my social media, which is Naomi John on... <laughs> Naomi John on... Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. Be Naomi John on. Now it's Twitter. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you on my tour. Next, I will see you in my next video. Right? Nice. I'll go marry my broccoli husband now, even though he thinks I'm ugly. Bye. And now I'm gonna get naked in front of the camera. Oh, technical difficulties.